out the source codes you're going to get. So the first one, this one's for Apple. It works on the iPhone, iPod, and iPad. It is for a game we just finished up called Space Blast, all right? Now, let me tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why for each one of these source codes, why I'm including it. So the reason I chose this one, guys, is one, it's based on a proven type of gameplay. It's uh, basically a game like Asteroids, all right? And you want to avoid in this one, the rocks. And I'm gonna show you the Asteroids, rather. I'm gonna show you guys example video of each of these source codes real quick. But this one is cool because it's so versatile. There's so many different types of games you can do it. Even my Maze Plus game was built initially on this code base. So pretty crazy stuff. And not only can you do a million different things with it, but it has multiplayer in it. So if you want to make a multiplayer game, any kind of multiplayer game, you can take that code out. Or if you just want to make a game that's a clone of this one, you can do that as well. All right, so let's check out a demo of that. All right, so this is Space Blast, really fun game. The goal here is you move around the ship and you avoid the rocks. But let me point out some of the features of this. First off, it does have eye ads in the game. So it already is set up to do ads. Also, this game has multiplayer. So you can play against someone else and see who can last the longest. Now, notice the video moving in the background, how the background is like a video instead of just a still image. This is the first game I've ever seen do that in the App Store. Really, really cool stuff and something one of my programmers came up with and we're implementing into more of our games. So you get the code for that as well. All right, so the second source code is also Space Blast, but this is a special version. This one has been transcribed into another programming language called Cocos 2D. Now, here's why I did that. I told you guys I want you to have the easiest time getting into the gaming business, all right? Well, if you find a programmer, chances are he's going to either be good at regular programming for iPhone stuff, or he's gonna be good at this Cocos 2D. Now, don't even worry what that is. It's just a different programming language. But I don't want you to get a guy who you think is good, and then he's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I only know Cocos 2D, all right? So I've included a version of that as well and i had the same guy who made the original do it so it's a very good code he did a very very good job but it was expensive when you poured over code it is not cheap to do that so he charged me twelve hundred dollars and you can see right there on skype again where i'm talking with him and then finally another space blast code this one's for android now here again let me break it down on why I did this. Of course, I wanted you guys to have an Android and an iPhone game. I wanted it to be the same game because I want you guys to easily be able to get a game made that's real similar to this and then be able to publish it to both platforms for cheap, right? And if I only had it for one platform, then you would have to spend a lot of money getting it ported over. But now you have one game in every type of code that you would possibly need. You can come up with an idea based on a similar style gameplay it will be really easy for a programmer to make this for Android and for iPhone. All right, so I had to pay $611 to get this Android port. All right, now, the fourth one is Lightstrobe. This is actually not a game, but it's a really cool little app. Any of my followers out there have definitely seen this. And um, it's made a lot of money. It's done really well. But the cool thing about this, and there is a reason I gave this um, in a gaming course like this, is light strobe is just a little trippy toy, but it has really cool effects that you can use in games. We actually stole one of the effects that looks like fire from light strobe and used it in jump pack. And we also used it in chase and we used it in steam rush. So we've used it now in three games. And I thought, you know what? I bet you guys could really use these effects. When you come up with an idea, you can use one of these funky, cool effects in your game and make your game look more pro. Cause you know, I told you guys before, it's important to have a good looking game. So this is gonna be some cool assets you can use to make your game really pop and look really good. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is light strobe and this is the flame effect I was telling you about. Now, what this does is goes with your voice or with music, right? So you could talk and it would move with your voice. And there's a bunch of different effects. So we use this effect on my game, Colo's Journey. We use that flame effect on a bunch of games like I told you. And you have these other strobe effects and these cool lightning effects. And you can use all of these in your games. And also it's a pretty cool app anyway. Then you can touch the screen and it turns into a flashlight as well, but that's not near as exciting as the visual effects that move with uh, music or with voice. All right, so we developed this one in-house, so I don't have an invoice for it, but my programmer said on the low end, it would have been $300 on the high end, about $400, $450 for that game. So we'll just stick with the low end number of $300. All 
All right, now the final source code you get, this is one that we just completed. I mean, like literally less than a week ago. And this was called Road Racing. It's based on a similar source code as Road Blast. So this is cool. You get to see the kind of different stuff you can do with one source code. All right, let's check it out. All right, so this is Road Racing. This is another avoidance game. You want to not hit the rocks. This one, unlike Space Blast, actually gets faster the longer you play. But if you go off of the track onto the grass, it actually slows you down. And then you compete for the high score. It has multiplayer as well. It has three different cars. And, uh, you know, just as a great example, with Light Strobe, it would be really easy to replace that blue stream behind the car with flames and uh, really cool stuff that any programmer could do and you can see how it's slowing down here a little bit when he gets off all right so hard cost on road racing for